Hey everybody, it's Nick here with you. Welcome back to the Rock Squad channel and welcome to the Rock Album Review for the 15th studio album from Weezer. It's called Van Weezer. Van Weezer is a follow-up to OK Human, which came out just a couple of months ago. Uh, my Rock Album Review for that is up on the channel already, as is my Rock Albums Ranked video for Weezer. Uh, I've mentioned on the show before, I'm a ride or die Weezer fan. I'm with them through thick and thin, through all the different albums, good and bad. So I rank them here on the channel from uh, my least favorite to my favorite. So if you want to check that out, uh, it's here on the, uh, on the channel. And uh, Van Weezer has been delayed quite a bit since this initial announcement back in 2019. Yeah, it's been that long when uh, Weezer released the end of the game. They announced Van Weezer. They announced the Hella Mega Tour with Green Day, which has gotten uh, has gotten delayed quite a few times as uh, as well. So despite already getting OK Human in the uh, intervening months, uh, we as Weezer fans have been waiting a long time for Van Weezer to finally get here. And I'm happy to say that it, it mostly lives up to the hype. Yes, overall, I'd have to say that I really enjoyed Van Weezer. I didn't love OK Human as much as I wanted to, but uh, I think Van Weezer is a pretty solid album. So if you've seen any of my rock album reviews before, you know that uh, I put the songs into two different categories, one being the plus column and the minus column, the plus uh, column being the songs that I really loved and the minus column being the ones that didn't really didn't really jump out to me. So without further ado, here is, uh, is my rock album review for Van Weezer. All right, let's get to the first song on the album. It's Hero. We're putting it in the plus column. This isn't a song that I really loved when Weezer first put it out last summer. That's right, or last year in uh, in 2020. They've been promoting this album for a while. Uh, I didn't love it when I first heard it, but it's definitely grown on me. I enjoy the lyrical content of this song. I find it kind of inspiring and, uh, and kind of cool. So I do enjoy the song, although I don't think I'm really totally down with its placement as the first song on this record. I really thought that uh, that honor should have gone to the end of the game because it has that huge intro on it and definitely uh, signals uh, the sound and aesthetic of Ben Weezer better than uh, than Hero. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but overall, I think Hero is a solid opening track for the most part. So I'm going to put it in the plus column. The next song we're going to put in the plus column is the second track on the record, All the Good Ones. I really, really love this song. Uh, love the intro. It kind of has a little bit of a Beverly Hills kind of vibe to it, but better. I'm not a huge fan of Beverly Hills, and I think All the Good Ones has a much better melody and is much more enjoyable overall. I uh, love the melody, love the guitar. Uh, turn it up right off the bat. Uh, I'll mention this again in the review, but uh, I feel like we are already familiar with a lot of Van Weezer because again, we've been waiting for it for a couple of years now. We've already heard a couple of singles before the album came out. So I already felt familiar with a lot of the tracks, except for this one. This one was brand new to me and I really, really enjoyed it. Already one of my favorites off the record. So all the good ones is going in the plus column. Also going in the plus column, of course, is the end of the game. I love this track so much. It has that epic intro with the shreddy, uh, tappy Van Halen guitar leading into those big euphoric harmonies into that great uh, Weezer pop melody from, from Rivers. I love this song. I think it's one of Weezer's best singles uh, in a long time. And as I mentioned, I thought this should have been the opening track on the record. It has that opening intro that is super epic, great for opening an album. And overall, I feel like this song is the uh, is the is the signpost for the aesthetic for the Van Weezer, you know, Weezer meets Van Halen aesthetic of this album. This this song combines all of that into into one, which is why I think it was the lead single from this album when it was initially announced uh, in 2019. So although it's good at number three, I still think this should have been the lead track on the record, but still an amazing song that I love a lot uh, and will continue to be rocking out too in 2021. Uh, in the plus column is the end of the game. Also going into the plus column for me is I Need Some of That, which is another song on this record, which very much um, exemplifies the the Van Weezer, the Van Halen meets Weezer approach that they're going for uh, on this record. Another single that we heard before the record came out, although it's only been a couple of weeks. We only heard the song a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but it has that that retro Van Halen kind of guitar, maybe mixed with the cars a little bit. Uh, really enjoyed this song. Uh, and it's another plus one for me. I need some of that in the plus column. Also going in the plus column is Beginning of the End, another song that we heard from Van Weezer before the album came out, although we heard a different version that was on the Bill and Ted Face the Music soundtrack last year, the Wild Stallions edit. And I do think I actually prefer that version of the song to the one here uh, on the record. They're very, very similar. They're just a couple of different changes. The intro on this one is a little bit different uh, and has like, some more sound effects and that kind of thing. Uh, but the song itself is really cool. It mixes together that you know retro Weezer vibe with some of the new stuff on Van Weezer. Although I think this might be the most retro sounding Weezer song 
uh, on the record. Although I do prefer the Wild Stallions edit, uh, I still do love this song. So beginning of the end is in the plus column. Then we get to another song in this record, which I think might be the silliest one on the album. I think so. Maybe akin to something that would have been on Hurley or, or Ratitude. One more hit. Uh, Weezer goes totally Metallica, totally Ender Sandman uh, on this track. It's got a Blue Album-esque chorus, but it reminds me of other songs <laughs> that Weezer have written about doing drugs, like We're All on Drugs uh, or Do You Want to Get High? But there actually is a, uh, a rock breakdown in the middle of this song, a crazy rock breakdown, but what might be the heaviest thing Weezer have, uh, have ever done on record. Now, we know Rivers is a big metal guy. He grew up on metal, and he's always looking for an excuse to, to shred on Weezer tracks. But this this might be the most shred worthy Weezer track that we've ever heard, uh, despite the silly lyrics and overall silly content of the song. Uh, but I really dug it. So uh, coming in in the plus column, we also have one more hit. Another song in this record that I really love was a song called Sheila Can Do It, which is reaching back into the Rivers Cuomo uh, archive, going back to his 90s side project, Homie. I don't know if you remember those guys. They did one song uh, called American Girls, which was really cool. But this was a song that Homie played in the late 90s before Weezer came back with the, the Green Album. Uh, it has that old school Weezer melody. You can definitely hear that on this one. Uh, one of my favorites on the album, I think, has a great guitar solo. Uh, but then I was listening to the song, and I, there's a part of the song where like, na 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 da na 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 I'm wondering, what is that melody? Where am I getting that from? And bam, it finally hit me. Uh, Handle with care by the Traveling Wilburys. If you don't know that song, go listen to it and then you'll immediately see uh, where Weezer is coming from on this record, which leads me to another point that I'm going to keep making on this review is that there are some strange samples. I'm going to call them samples. They're not ripoffs because I think Weezer is acknowledging that they are taking influences in other parts from other songs. Uh, but when you have something like that, where I hear a melody, I'm like, I know that melody, where's it coming from? Uh, it's from another song. I find, I kind of feel like that, like that's cheating. I'll get to that coming up in another song on this record. That's in the minus column, but overall uh, I did really like this song. Sheila can do it is another great song on Van Weezer. Also really dug the track called She Needs Me. It was a, just a power rocker, a Weezer power rocker, a late a late in the album uh, Weezer power rocker, super catchy Weezer melody, killer solo. Uh, really enjoyed that one. And then also going in the, uh, the plus column for me was the final song on Van Weezer, which was very different than all the other songs on the record, which was Precious uh, Metal Girl, which reminded me of an acoustic... Uh, Ender that we've heard on other Weezer albums like Butterfly on Pinkerton or Endless Bummer on uh, on the White Album. But uh, overall, really loved Precious Metal Girl and all those songs are going in the plus column. And there is one song we're going to put in the minus column for Van Weezer, and that song is called Blue Dream. Uh, you might know why I'm putting this one in the in the in the minus column after you hear it. Uh, it's got a cool melody. Don't get me wrong, but there's no way that I can get past the use of the crazy train riff uh, in this song. As I said, it's not really a ripoff, I guess, because the band are acknowledging the use of the riff and the use of, uh, of Ozzy and Randy Rhodes' you know, classic guitar riff from Crazy Train. Uh, but to me, it does feel like cheating. Why not just write a new riff? You're, you're using a, a riff that we know so well. It kind of cheapens the song. It, puts it into this middle ground between a cover song and an original song. And we know how prolific Weezer are. We know how much Rivers writes uh, in his spare time. Uh, he's always writing songs, putting together spreadsheets about different lyrical ideas, different musical ideas. So I'm wondering why he felt the need to go to the well and take such a well-known riff and put it in to this song. I know that might be the experiment and that's why he's doing it because he wanted to put the crazy train riff into a, into a song and add and continue to add to that shredding atmosphere of Van Weezer. But overall, I felt that was kind of cheap and I didn't really enjoy it. So the only song I'm going to put in the negative column in the minus column for Van Weezer is Blue Dream. That crazy train riff does not work. Yeah, so overall, most of the songs on uh, Van Weezer went to the plus column for me with one song very noticeably going uh, into the minus column. But overall, I'm, I'm just glad that we got this album after a two-year delay. Uh, as I said, it already felt familiar to me because I feel like we've been sitting with these tracks for over a year. Well, end of the game has been two years. We heard Hero last year. Uh, we heard the beginning of the end last year. We heard I Need Some of That a couple of weeks ago. So I feel like going into Van Weezer that I already heard half the record and in, in my head it still feels like two halves of a record to me the front half feels like songs that i've already heard a million times before songs that i love 
but I've already heard them a million times because of uh, the delay of this album. And then the second half of the album makes up songs that I'm not as familiar with. So I'm waiting for that for that thing to happen in my head where the album coalesces into one one giant record for me and it feels like a cohesive unit to me and i feel like that'll be that'll be happening the more i listen to uh the more i listen to van uh, so van weezer but uh, that's just a, pro- a byproduct of uh, of the delay of covid19 so that's not uh, weezer's fault but i did dig the uh did dig the fresh songs especially uh, all the good ones sheila can do it and she needs me um i like it better than okay human <clears throat> excuse me uh, the melody sat better with me than uh, than okay human did overall uh there are some cheesy lyrics on this thing but that's to be expected did I come to Weezer for the melodic uh, and pop rock sensibilities? So a cheesy lyric here and there is not going to bother me too much. And uh, as I said, I understand that um, Weezer will use co-writers. I understand that they're going to use samples, but some of the samples on this record felt kind of blatant to me. So I'm going to I'm going to have to give it a knock for that. Uh, but I am a wider a, a ride or die Weezer fan, as I mentioned in my my rock album rankings for Weezer. So I'm with them no matter what. I did enjoy. Uh, enjoy uh, Van Weezer overall. And it's been an embarrassment of riches over the last four months for Weezer fans with OK Human and Van Weezer. So I'm going to give Van Weezer a solid four out of five. All right, everybody, let me know what you thought of Van Weezer in the comments below. Make sure to like this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to the channel here on Rock Squad and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any uh, videos that we do here on the on the channel. Every week, me and my friend Dave are doing the Rock Squad podcast, which is all about rock music news, reviews, and discussion. Uh, you can watch the video version here on the channel and you can check out the audio version wherever you get your podcasts, uh, Spotify, Google, Apple, all over the place. You can check out the Rock Squad podcast podcast and take it with you uh, wherever you go. Uh, check out the rock album reviews that we have here on the channel. The most recent being uh, Typhoons by Royal Blood. That's up here on the channel. Check out the rock album uh, rock album ranked video with Weezer. That is also here on the, uh, on the channel. And don't miss out on anything that we're doing here on the Rock Squad channel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.